Good day, good people. My name is Gabo Sequele and I'm an online math tutor here to help young children turn their struggles into their successes. In today's video, we will be discussing the three things that your child needs to do in order to improve their skills in mathematics. Before we begin though, I want us to quickly understand what the term math skills means so we're all on the same page as to what this video is going to be about. According to our trusted friend Google, a skill is the ability to do something well. Therefore, math skills would then be the ability to do math well. So this video is going to share a few of the things that helped me to improve my ability to do math well and what your child can do in order to improve their ability to do math well. So let's get into it. The first thing your child needs to do to improve their math skills is by improving their understanding of mathematics. Note, your child should not improve their knowledge of mathematics. Your child needs to improve their understanding of mathematics. Major difference between the two and it's important that you recognize that. Now you may be wondering, how does a child improve their understanding? Well, firstly, they need to learn what I like to call math principles. These are the fundamental facts or the fundamental truths of mathematics. It's the why of math. They don't need to be learning all these different math methods and these different ways of calculating something. That's not what they need. Mass majority of people learn these different math methods and they don't really understand how they work, why they're taking the steps that they're taking to solve this problem. That's not what your child needs to be learning. Your child needs to understand the reason behind each and every step that they take, regardless of the method. They need to know why they're doing what they're doing and therefore their understanding will improve, which will then improve their skill in mathematics. I think this was the biggest hurdle that I had to overcome in math. Just being able to understand all the information that I was taking in. Understanding why I was doing what I was doing with each and every step. I didn't understand that. I didn't get that. And I wasn't able to understand why certain steps were being taken in a math problem. This severely affected my understanding of math, which obviously affected my skill. In mathematics but once I made it my aim to study for the sake of understanding mathematics and understanding the principles of mathematics the game changed and I went from getting 40s and 50s in middle school math to getting 93% in my midterm exam in grade 9 when I made that fundamental change my grades and my skill change that is absolutely possible for your child if they grow their understanding in mathematics okay let's move to the second thing your child needs to do once they start understanding math they now need to practice mathematics extensively they need to find a good resource full of worksheets and past papers that will enable them to practice what they now understand now if you're interested in a few good resources i will be releasing a video in a few weeks time that shares some of the free websites that i've used and i've loved and i think two of these websites are ones where you can find worksheets and past papers that your child can use to practice on. If that video has been released by the time you watch this video, I will leave the link down in the description for you so that it's easier to find. Practicing math is actually very important because if they do not practice the theory that they have in their mind, then they don't actually know anything about mathematics. Math is a practical subject. It needs you to apply what you learn. It's not just about the theory, but it really is about the practice. So practicing is important to improving their skill. Back in high school, my mother encouraged me to have two math books. One I used as a scribble book where I would make sense of all these new concepts that were taught to me in class. And it was also where I used to practice my homework. So this book is where I made all my mistakes and I figured math out and I made sense of it and it was, it was hideous. It was a hideous book. But the second book that I had was the one that I presented to my teacher. After I did all my homework in my scribble book and I figured my homework out and I got to understand it, I then redid my homework in this second book. I wouldn't copy from the scribble book. I would redo my homework in the second book just to reaffirm the concepts that I had learned again, just to make sure that they were in my mind and they made sense and that I understood them. Now that level of practice really helped me to improve my skill in mathematics. And at the time I didn't really understand the value of what I was doing, but it really was crucial to me improving my skills. I'm not saying that's what your child needs to do. However they want to go about it, they just need to make sure that they practice a lot. The final thing that your child needs to do to improve their skills in math is to see math in real life. 
If they cannot see math in real life and they cannot make sense of it, even in their mind's eye, that is an indication that they do not understand mathematics. They need to be able to come up with real life math examples of these concepts that they're learning. For example, when we're talking about fractions, a good real life example is the pizza illustration. If someone shows me a fraction with one as the numerator and four as the denominator, I always think of a pizza cut into four slices and the numerator representing one of the slices of the pizza. Now, if you don't understand what I just said, don't worry about what all those terms mean. That's for your child to understand. But the point is they need to be able to do that. They need to be able to see math in real aspects of life. They need to be able to come up with their own examples of the concepts that they're learning or at least expand on the examples that they get in class, be able to reason on the examples that they get in class. If your child can do this, they're, they're slowly but surely developing their math skills. And that is exactly where you want them to be. So parents, in conclusion, for your child to do well and to improve their skills in mathematics, they need to understand the information that they're being fed, practice what they now understand, and lastly, see the math in real life. As an online math tutor, I help young children improve their skills in mathematics all the time. And if you're interested in finding someone that can help your child do that, feel free to schedule a free consultation with me. I will leave the link down in the description. In that consultation, we will discuss what issues your child is facing and how we can work together to help them improve. So please feel free to set it up and I will see you then. For my videos, I'm trying this new presentation style. So if you're interested in downloading the presentation in this video, feel free to go down to the description. The link will be left there for you to download it. Thank you so much for making it all the way through to the end of this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.